This video introduces you to the four quadrant analysis feature that is available with the Factory Talk Motion Analyzer version 3 release. Four quadrant analysis is a torque speed graph that enables a comprehensive assessment of motor performance in both the positive and negative directions. You can download Factory Talk Motion Analyzer from the Product Compatibility and Download Center at no cost. In this video, the sample projects were utilized to demonstrate relevant content. These sample projects can be found in the software under Help, Import Sample Projects. Let's begin by exploring the Armor Kinetics Distributed Servo Drives project. This project contains multiple axes to demonstrate various types of motion solutions, including both the distributed servo motor and more traditional in cabinet servo drives. Let's dive further into the general motion axis one. On this screen, you can view the axis overview, which includes the axis analysis. Let's open the axis analysis. The axis analysis tab contains information and tools that you can use to evaluate system performance and efficiency. The default screen will show a single quadrant torque speed graph. By utilizing this toggle slider below the graph, you can display the full four quadrant analysis graph. Here, you see an analysis for a standard motor application where the single quadrant is mirrored on all four quadrants. Each quadrant within the four quadrant graph represents a different function. The first quadrant represents forward motoring. In this region, the power and torque are both positive. So the power developed is positive and the machine works as a motor supplying mechanical energy. The second quadrant represents reverse braking. In this region, the torque is positive and the speed is negative, so power developed is negative and the machine works under braking opposing the motion. The third quadrant represents reverse motoring. In this region, the speed is negative and the torque is also negative, so power developed is positive and so the machine works under reverse motoring mode. The fourth quadrant represents forward braking. In this region, the speed is positive, but torque is negative, so the power developed is negative, and the machine works under braking opposing the motion. The axis analysis graphs come with graphical features that allow for more detailed analysis. Within the graph borders, you can zoom in to a specific analysis with a left mouse click and drag. You can double left click on the graph to zoom back out at any time. There are details at each point of the graph which can be viewed by hovering over a segment. Dragging the mouse with a left click in the X and Y directions, you can zoom into a specific area. You can choose to display the default graph size in the window, where you can expand the graph with the open button in the top right area of the graph. Let's return to the architecture overview. Let's open an Armor Kinetics distributed servo motor axis. By navigating back to the axis analysis for this axis, you see a different graph. With DSM drives, the behavior will be mirrored from quadrants 1 and 2 and quadrants 3 and 4. This brings us to the end of the four quadrant analysis demonstration in Factory Talk Motion Analyzer. In this video, 
you saw an overview of the four quadrant analysis and the differences in the graphs between general motion axes and DSM axes. For additional information, please refer to the online help document located in the help content.